I'm going to show you all how to create a hour timer with the hours, minutes, and the seconds. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to get ourselves the text tool. We're going to left click, drag this out, and then you want to type in 00, zero colon 00, zero, and then once again, colon 00. zero. We can also customize the font if you wanted to change it. The one that I'm using is called Adobe Clean, and I've set it to 629 pixels for the size. Now from here, we want to drag this in, and then you want to go to the first tool, press Control, Alt, and Home, and then you want to center align your text. We need to get ourselves a slider control, drag this down to the text, and then you want to open this up, open up the text, and we're going to hold Alt or Option key and left click on the stopwatch. This will give us the expression box right here. And to save you all some time, you can just easily scroll down on this video and copy and paste this expression right here. At the moment, we need to left click off of this. All we need to do is simply go to file, go down to the project settings, and we're going to change the expression engine to the legacy engine. Go ahead and press OK. And now all we need to do in order to make this timer work is to simply change the slider right here, and we can increase the number to add, let's say, six minutes. If you wanted to add, let's say, half an hour, then you would type in 1,800 and that will be for 30 minutes. If you wanted a full hour, then you would type in 3,600. However, at the moment, nothing will happen because we haven't added any keyframes. So in order to animate this, all we need to do is simply left click on the stopwatch. And then from here, we want to go further out and then set this down to zero. And as you can see, this will now count down from an hour all the way down to zero. If you want to see the keyframes, you can open up the effects, open up the slider control, and as you can see, we now have the two keyframes right at the bottom. If you wanted this to be slower, then you would move the keyframes further away, and this will slow it down. If you want it quicker, you would then move them closer together, and this will speed up the animation. In addition to this, you can also swap these around. If you wanted it to count from zero, all the way up to an hour, then it will count up to one hour. However, one important thing that you need to do, and this is very important, is you also need to go to the composition, go to composition settings, and you also want to make sure that you've set the duration of your project to one hour. And then from here, you would set the first keyframe at the beginning, and then set the last keyframe all the way at the end. If you would like to see how to create a digital typewriter effect, then click on the screen and watch the next video.